Hi, Nate. Um, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, I am very good. I had a very nice day today. Um, see, because um, my dad promised me that after school on Friday, if I was good all week, we would get a new Lego Death Star kit. Ooh. Well, that's pretty a big, that's a big deal. <laughs> yes, it is very big deal. Um, it's very expensive and it is close to 1500 pieces. Wow. Well, that should take you a while then to work on maybe all weekend. Yes, it will probably take a very long time. Well, that I, we love Legos at my house too. So I, I get that. You do? What, what kind of Legos do you play with? Uh, well, we've got all kinds. Um, and my son has some of the Star Wars ones. Um, and he has yes. some of the city ones. Yeah. So we have a lot. That's fun. I love the Lego City ones. Especially there is the construction worker. He is my favorite from that kit. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very nice. Well, um, we are going to do uh, do some spend some time here to together and I'm going to maybe ask you to do a couple things and we'll go from there. How does that sound? Um, that sounds okay. It, it should be good if, if we do some things. And, and, and yes, so I'll tell you what, the first thing um, I realized I have something I need to do first. And so oh. if you could just I see you've got your iPad in front of you, and I seem to remember the last time I talked with you, you loved reading about space. You had a book on your iPad. Yes, I have a book by Carl Sagan on my iPad, and also one by Stephen Hawking. Oh, oh, wow. I have a book by Stephen Hawking, and it was kind of hard to read. It was very detailed. Yes, it is. It is very hard to read, but I can read a little bit of it. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, if you can read one of your books, you can pick which one you'd rather read. I have one thing I need to do here first, and then we'll do something together. Okay? Um, okay. Um, okay. I, I can read for a little bit. Okay, good. Great. <clears throat> um, excuse me, um, did you know that the hottest planet in our solar system is Venus? And uh, most people think that it is Mercury because Mercury is closest to the sun, but actually Venus has a lot of gases in its atmosphere, which causes the greenhouse gas effect. Did you know that? I, I did not know that. That is a new one for me, Nate. Thank you. Yes. I still need to finish my work here. Okay, so go ahead and keep reading. Oh, okay. Um, it's just, um, did you know that the solar system is about 4.6 billion years old? That's old. It is old. Scientists think it's going to last another 5,000 million years before it ends. Ah, well then we don't have to worry about it ending while we're here, do we? No, because that is a very long time. <laughs> yes, it's a very long time. Okay, I'm almost done, Nate. You go ahead and read just a little more. I need to finish. Oh, okay. Tired of reading. <sighs> okay, I'm done. Thank you, Nate. Yes, I'm glad you're done. It's a good thing. I like not having work to do. 
Yes. And that's so I'm happy for you. Thank you. Um, I very rarely do not have work to do. <laughs> but, but I actually have something I would like for you to do. Um, before we do that, would you tell me one more fact, a space fact? Because you're so good at that. Yes, I would love to share another space fact with you. Um, how about, this one is about planets. And um, did you know that both Mercury and Venus are the only two planets in our whole solar system that did not have any moons? Oh, okay. That's an interesting fact. Yes. Okay, so moving away from science for a few minutes, I know you've been reading um, poetry in school, in class, and I was hoping I would like you to read a piece of Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken. If you could read six lines for me, that would be wonderful. Yes, Nate. Um, you want me to read six lines of a poem? Is it on, is it on my iPad? It is on your iPad. Your teacher told me that it is there and it's ready for you. Oh, I see it. Um, how many lines do you want me to read again? Read six lines for me. That would be great. Okay. Um, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood. Um, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the un under undergrowth. Okay, that was six slides. That was excellent. Thank you very much, Nate. Would you like to tell me another space fact? Yes, I would love to tell you another space fact. That would be very good. Um, let's see. Um, did you know that the highest mountain that scientists know about is called the Olympus Mons, and it's located on Mars? No. Okay. Yes, and it is, its peak is 15 miles high, which is three times as big as Mount Everest, which right. is the biggest mountain on planet Earth. Wow. That, that's really big. I, huh. Well, thank you. That was a good fact. You are yes, just, it was a very good fact. <laughs> you have so many facts. Um, yes, okay. I know a lot about space. You do know a lot about space. Um, I am going to um, go over here for one minute and I'll be right back. And you can just, you can read, um, or if you have a game on your iPad, you're certainly welcome to play um, a game. I don't know if you have any games on there, but. Um, um, no, but I can look for other books that maybe I can ask my mom and dad to let me buy. Okay, that's great. And I will just be right over here and, and I'll be right back. Okay, you'll be right back. Okay. Thank you for waiting, Nate. Yes. Did you get done your 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 chore? I did. I'm all done. So thank yes. you so much. 
Yes, thank you for um, being my friend today. Ah, well, do you have one more fact for me before we go? Um, I can think of one. Okay. Um, hmm. Let me think of my best one for you. Um, okay, so did you know that, um, do you know what gravity is? I do. Did you know that the force of gravity can sometimes be so strong near a planet that it'll ca cause comets to just explode? They explode? They explode because of all the pressure. Huh. Yes. Wow. Pressure. That is really, I'm going to have to look that one up and read more about it. Yes, I'm sure there are some cool videos on YouTube. Oh, that's probably true. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you, Nate. I appreciate your time and spending some time with me. Yes, I like spending time with you. End simulation.